Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Remember the sump pump and why it failed? We found that out. Well, we're back here today to clean that line and also to explore what the paving people did tying that four inch line into an inch and a half pressurized discharge. And let's take a look at that. So last week when I came out here to repair the pump, the homeowner had told me that during a big rain, um, the paving company came out here and added this catch basin. But today she said, oh wait, no, it was a handyman and it was an emergency. And my husband knows a handyman, so we called him and this is what he did to correct the problem. And you know what? The guy, he, he tried to help, I'm sure, but he put in a, a catch basin and then he reduced that line down and tied it into an inch and a half pressurized discharge from our pump. And this is the result. It always amazes me how much work there is when you come back and have to dig something up that's under pavers. It, it is a lot of work. And like I said, make sure you remember your pattern of how you these things came apart so you can put it back together. But take a look. I'm going to expose this and you can see the T. This is what they put down there. And they reduced it from four inch right down to inch and a half. And of course, everything just got stuck right there in the T. That line became full of sand and the sump pump could no longer push that water. I mean, it is, there's tons of sand in there. I'm gonna get the jetter out. That's really the only cable that can get through inch and a half and we'll clean that line. So we discovered what the problem actually is, why, why the, everything happened, why the pump failed. Let's go over here to this catch basin, open it up, and we need to get the jetter and clean the inch and a half pipe back around, and we need to clean the four inch discharge all the way out to the lake, because that line's full of sand also. So we're ready to go. Let's get the jetter out. Test it, make sure we got good pressure, we do. We're gonna hook up the jetter itself. This is a 100 foot cable with that nozzle on the end that is, makes it so we can easily clean this line. You know, I've said it many, many times. If you're going to pay a contractor to come out and install all these drains, make sure that they have the capability to come back and make repairs, clean it, diagnose the problem. You know, sending a cable or a camera down this line is not going to do anything. You already know it's backed up. You need to be able to fix the problem. So hopefully all these DIYs that we've been posting for years and years helps you, the homeowner and or the contractor, to be able to solve these people's problems and not just come out and say, oh, we need to install a new drain. So we've cleaned both the inch and a half pipe and the four inch pipe all the way out to the lake. Now it's time to put the pavers back. So from this catch basin right here, we cleaned the line. We went both through the inch and a half with the jetter, showed you that, pulled out all the sand and debris, debris because what happened is inch and a half pipes not designed for a gravity drain, not at all, at least not for rainwater drainage. And you can see that the sand and debris from the stone bed right there just filled up that line completely and blocked the line completely right at the T, right at the T. And of course, it's so much sand and debris, the pump can't push through it and the pump burned out. It's just, you know, pretty simple. But we got a new pump in there. We cleaned the line back from the inch and a half this direction. We also cleaned the line all the way out to the lake. And as I talked to the homeowner, I asked her, you know, do you remember how far back we had installed the line? And she said, oh, it was, you know, I'll show you. <laughs> you see that tree? And you can see how there's like a little cove that has created here. And you can see the other side of the, the yard. Well, our pipe had about six feet of solid ground to drain across. But because there's a dam down there, they keep that dam full. They keep this lake full. So it just eroded, you know, over time it eroded the whole thing. And you can see all the weeds and debris that wash up this direction. Of course, now we have a great flow and it's working great. But we're gonna move that back again, back to about right here. We don't wanna keep going back further in the yard. It needs to have a drain. It has to be gravity in order to make it work. 
so yeah you should look back and I'll post a link to the original install. You can see how much work there was here. Remember, underneath of this course of pavers, we actually found an old carport. You know, it was solid concrete. We had to cut that as well. We put in, you know, the catch basin, we put in the downspout drain. Now all this stuff's under the pavers. I mean, all of it. And it runs all the way over here to the sump basin. We couldn't go through here because there's tanks down here. There's uh, propane and oil, all kinds of stuff underground right there. So we had to do all of this in, in the pavers. And you can see our catch basin comes straight over to the sump pump. Sump pump lifts it up and sends it all the way back to that catch basin by the door. And then gravity takes over and sends it out. Fixing other people's problems. You know, we follow behind handyman and drainage people the so-called drainage people every day and we correct their problems not that they did a bad job but they really don't understand all the needs of a drain of what really needs to be done when you hire a contractor make sure that they're able to not only install a drain but be able to come back and maintenance that system be able to clean it repair it or replace it if necessary let me show you what we're going to do to solve this problem it is so simple so I temporarily put the pavers back. We're going to come back and take this completely out of here, cap off what they did. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move this downspout. Pretty simple to do, and I'll show you guys. It's a great DIY. We're basically going to take this downspout down, and we're going to put a patch on there. And the patch looks really good. I mean, it's very hard to even tell there was a patch there, or there was a downspout, I should say. And we're gonna move that downspout down to the other end. And we'll probably tie it in about right here, just in front of the lights, it'll go down. Or we might be able to go right through the lights, but we'll see. That downspout will come down, it'll splash out, and either the water will go into the catch, or to the sump pump, or it'll come across the rocks onto the pavers and down to our original catch basin down here. So it's gonna be a great DIY when we put it together. We'll show you how to do that. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.